For those of you who might not know, we have Bronies React, Brownies React, and then we have Horses! Well, that episode definitely happened. It's fine. It's fine episode. I like it in the same way that I like Fake It Till You Make It, where it's like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> that was a fun rewatch. And I'm sure everyone's biggest complaint is that Spike completely forgets how to be a fully functional sentient being once he stops working for Twilight, but... You know, Lil Buddy came through, and in the end, he did save Applejack's life, so I gotta give him props for that. Although, I mean, the Timberwolves in this episode are about as fragile as a hammer made out of glass. It's not like, you know, the most thought-provoking or deep or emotional or really even logical episode. But I mean, like, still enjoyable. Yeah, overall, that's a frustrating episode because it has Applejack being a badass. It has lots of comedic moments. It's a great lesson that I think won't make sense immediately for a lot of kids, but I think it's something valuable for a lot of them. But the way that they set the events, the tone really make it feel like all the characters acted in a really weird way. And I do wonder if part of it is not due to the writing. A lot of people chat on Meriwether Williams because of that episode and because of Mysterious Mirror Duel. And I look back at that and I'm thinking, she still wrote Hearts Warming Heave, she wrote Bats, she wrote Wonderbolts Academy in the same season. So I do wonder if part of it is just that the script she had in mind didn't match the vision that went on screen. <laughs> Spike, you're so silly. Okay, Applejack. Come on, you're getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> erm. Can you say er? <laughs> That's just the way the cookie crumbles. <sighs> erm. What? Applejack. Come on, you're better than this. <laughs> erm. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty epic. Applejack, <laughs> this is why everyone thinks you're a background pony. <laughs> Spike at Your Service is definitely an episode that I really watched, and I certainly did not just roll out of bed, record a bunch of generic reactions, and say, Maynard, throw him in there. Uh, that's not what happened. I watched the episode. Uh, and my favorite part has to be when Spike gives a nice whiff of those dirty feet, baby, because, you know, I, I finally feel represented in a media. <laughs> Thank you, my little pony. <laughs> was that a good episode? No. But was that, like, one of the worst episodes in the entire series? Eh. You know, it was just so okay. It was okay. Hey everypony, Lero here, and you might notice that I'm looking a bit different. Yeah, I'm in the uh, I'm in the middle of moving at the moment, and my footage uh, near the end of the Bronius React video got corrupted, so I wasn't able to give my final thoughts, at least in that original footage form. And I gotta be honest, Spike at Your Service wasn't that bad. I know a lot of people don't really enjoy it. It does. It gets a little bit of flack, but I mean. Honestly, uh, I think it's almost a bit unwarranted. I think the episode is super funny, albeit there were some times where it was genuinely disturbing, but I think if we can look past those couple moments, the episode isn't really all that bad, honestly. Okay, you know, after seeing it, I feel like the biggest sin that happened in this episode was that Applejack got stuck, and that's just like an overplayed trope people getting stuck and being a damsel and needing help. I get what they were going for in the episode, but I don't know, just her getting stuck like that when it's Applejack and the rocks and the, I don't know. It, 
Getting stuck in something is an overused trope, and for that, I, I can't, I can't say that I like this, you know? Guys, this has been wonderful. Thank you for having me. Uh, this was terrible, and I don't like it, and I have to leave. Okay? This is, this is just egregious. Honestly, it has a really bad reputation, and it's not a good episode. There's very few decent Spike episodes. And that one, the character writing was kind of all over the place in certain segments. But there were bits that made me laugh, and I liked the Timberwolves a lot. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I don't think it's the worst episode in the show. Maybe it's down there, but I can think of at least five other episodes that I like less than this one. Actually, wasn't too bad. I think Pinky and like Discord, for example, are really good when it's either like their episode or when they're like background characters in another person's episode. But when they're like secondary characters like here or like in any other sort of episode where they're there for the majority of the episode, but it's not their episode, they feel kind of like they feel like forced comic relief, kind of. With Spike, though, I kind of feel the exact opposite way. I, I I think he's at his best when he's a secondary character, especially when he's tagging along with, like, Twilight and, like, The Point of No Return or, like, In Winter Wrap-Up. He has some really, really good one-liners, and, like, he really shines as that, like, sarcastic companion. But Spike is, like, better relegated to a secondary character companion, in my opinion. Doesn't mean he still can't shine, but, you know proofs in the pudding. I am very perplexed because it has all the elements of a good episode. It's not even some, an episode I would call one of the worst, and even if it was, I would still consider that it shows that the show is that great, the lesson it teaches is important, uh, it doesn't do a lesson that would harm the kids by teaching them something wrong. I I don't know, I, I can't really say I had the bad time watching the episode and I hope people didn't see that as something to be a good reason to tune off. I think I think it's a worthwhile episode for a lot of reasons. I don't think it's the sum of all its parts, unfortunately, but I still think it's worthy of talking about it. I really enjoyed it. Now, I may be a bit biased, I really don't have an episode I dislike in any sense of the mean. And especially after, like, having recorded that section, you know, it's been a little while since we recorded that, but having more time to reflect on it even then after having watched it, it's still really enjoyable in my opinion. And I would definitely go back and watch it again. I can't understand why people would dislike this episode, and while I may not be one of them, I... Again, I completely understand why someone would be opposed to it. It's got definitely one of the weirdest moments in the entire show that I'm aware of. Uh, the Applejack inflation was uh, certainly something that I was not ready for, nor was I expecting. But I do think it had a lot of character outside of that. This episode is probably solidly in my top 10 least favorite episodes of Friendship is Magic. It has some good comedic moments, but the story is genuinely one of the stupidest episodes I've ever seen, not just in My Little Pony, but in cartoons, period. It paints Spike as completely incompetent. It shows some of the other characters in a really terrible light, Twilight especially. The whole concept of Spike's Dragon Code is so stupid. Like, seriously, does it ever come up in future episodes? I don't think it does. As long as an episode isn't boring, that's really all I care about. And I was able to laugh at this perfectly fine, so, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Spike at Your Service is not a good episode of MLP. But the animation is still pretty as ever, the voice acting was top-notch, as always, and it was actually pretty fun to sit through this episode as I recorded this, because before this, I hadn't seen this episode in literal years. So... I guess if you're looking for something positive, it says a lot about Friendship is Magic that even one of its worst episodes can still be entertaining. You know, people give, people give Meriwether Williams a lot of shit for her episodes, and like, what? It's like, Mysterious Meriwether I actually liked. Uh, it, it's, yeah, Mysterious Meriwether is fine. This episode is fine. Uh, Bats is... Bats is good. It's overhated. I can see why it's a bottom, like, a bottom tier episode, but it's like, it's not that bad. <laughs> All in all, this episode really wasn't that bad. Honestly, I'd be hard-pressed to call any episode of the show bad. 
it, it just suffers from a couple minor things like Spike, you know, is incredibly out of character and a couple of the things he does in the beginning don't really sit well. Uh, Applejack's a little out of character with her getting stuck. But I mean, it, you know, there's good, there's part in the episode and there's good jokes too. Like uh, the pig in the mud, rarity in her, you know, expressions and exasperations. Uh, uh, Spike is just getting pushed over. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. But there is genuine heart in this episode. And I don't think it deserves the flack that it gets from a lot of people. Although I will continue to joke about it forever. <laughs>